I had somebody tell me, I ain't gonna say who. Yeah. I had somebody tell me, yo, I got a ring and I put it on mm. when I go to business meetings so that. Yeah, yeah. And I was like. Yeah, what I'm saying? Because it psychologically yeah. yep. communicates something yep. to people. Absolutely. And it shows stability. Right, you think you think about you think about the reason why. If you think about most billionaires, they're married, and it says something also because when you're in a room with people who are putting either their capital, uh, whether it's a partnership, whatever it is, they're putting a lot on the line to do business with you. Without you being married, it do, it doesn't show stability in your house. Level skin in the game, right? And so now. You know what I'm saying? You become a liability. Like some business people, you become a liability to them if you don't, if you're not stable. What the hell did you just say? Now I will never be your hater. I'm your biggest fan. I hope it falls into place just how you planned it. Life could put you in a pickle. Just make sure it's kosher. Lean on me like Bill Withers until you smell the roses. What's happening, fam? We got to talk about this. I'm so sick of this. All of this lying, and we just skip over that people are lying, like, oh, oh yeah, I did. yeah, I'm just lying through my teeth. Man. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 we do that. Just for, just, just for the record, you do realize there's a, there's a consequence to that, right? See, I don't understand... Everybody wants to be this little, this nice little sociopath where, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get over. <laughs> if you're doing business with somebody and you lying to do business with them, nine times out of 10, when they find out that you lied to them about the, you know, what's going on, they're going to assume, which is normal, oh, well, you're really not who you say you are and you can't do what you said you could do. you just out here scamming and hustling. And then people will go, no, 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 no. I was just trying to get my foot in the door. And you're going to get your, it's right out the door. They're going to kick you out. So now we got to have a discussion with, with, with people to say, listen, I know y'all want to play this game, that everything is a scam and a hustle. And unfortunately, I don't know, you know, because I have the thumbnail, uh, not the thumbnail, but the uh, the clip. And the guy seems to have an African last name. Oh, the, you know, if, if he's African, all oh, the scammer thing. I don't know if he is or not, you know, but I know that can come up. So what you're saying is you're not doing good. You, you, you're not doing good business. Or he's not even saying it's him. He's saying it's somebody he knows, you know, but it, the, the problem is what? If you're so confident in, in the service you can provide, I understand that people have the thing where in the business world, you look more responsible if you marry, but that's like a dying trope because so many people have are divorced at this particular time. So it's more so, can you do the job? But a, a lot of y'all want to act like, you know, oh, I'm going I'm to hedge my bets and try to hustle in every way I can to get ahead and get over and possibly, perhaps, maybe, you know, something can happen in this situation where they'll give me the thumbs up. And it's like, no, they're not going to give you the thumbs up. This is why, in my opinion, a lot of these deals that people are thinking that they're making are falling through. Because what people assume they were going to get and the person they assume they were going to get is not what they got. So now it's like, oh, okay. All right. Why do you think they have all these lawsuits? Why do you think they have all these people who are trying to tell you all of these you know, finesse moves all over the internet. Well, if you do this and do that and, and do this, sprinkle this magical pixie dust on this thing that sounds like a bit of a scam or a crime, but I promise you it works out just fine. You'll be a millionaire next week. Why do you think all these people going to jail? This is all infomercial stuff. Why do you think they're all in scandals? It's all infomercial stuff. So to say you're going to participate in the same ideology, it doesn't make sense. Like, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all something. Like, have you ever been to a store? And in the store, they say, you know, you know, these are the regular prices and, and these things are here are for sale. And then you go, okay, well, well, let me get some of this stuff that's the regular price and let me get some of this stuff that's on sale. And you get the stuff that's on sale and you get the stuff that's regular price and then they ring it up and you go, wait a minute. Those items they, right there were on sale. And they go, well... Well, if you sign up with a program with us, then 
those items will be on sale. Do you want to sign up now? It's like, yo, it didn't say if I sign up with a program on the for sale on the sale part. It just said sale. Okay, so you scamming? No problem. I, uh, we good. I'm not coming back here. People go, ah, oh, it's okay if you sign up, you can get those discounts. It's like, no, you let me know off the top that your word is no good. That your that your your ideology is of you know um, smoke and mirrors, and that becomes a problem. And I don't understand why a lot of y'all don't get that. You know, you can start off good with somebody and it can end horribly. It can end horribly. Because now people got to question everything that ever came out of your mouth. It's like the boy who cried wolf, but a business version, a job version. You know, a lot of times you see society and you see people that are quote unquote having jobs and quiet quitting. A lot of it is not necessarily quiet quitting. A lot of it is they know they're about to get fired. So they just don't come back because they didn't sold a bill of goods. And, and you should notice this because over the years, over the years, you've seen it where people have gotten embarrassed publicly because they lied on their resume. They lied about their credentials. They lied about, you know, you know, um, where they went to school or if they finished. And, you know, since people weren't double checking and triple checking, well, you know, you know, if you, it's your fault that you, you didn't, Check it out. What was that, that that show? Suits. When the guy said, you know, I, I'm a genius, but, you know, I passed the bar, but I ain't really go to college. And they hired him. And they, then he had to use that same rhetoric against him. It was your fault if you hired me. And I didn't do all these things that I said I did because you would look crazy because you're the partner, right? It's like, this is what's going on in society. So all these lies at some point come back to bite you. The question is, are you are you ready for that part? Because everybody's just ready for the getting over part, but the other part is going to happen. But tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm going to take you.